All right, baby, we back once some motherfucking game with that 6.6 .6 placement game, three of ten. Um, this game's gonna be a volley bear. Um, you see what they have on uh, what do you call it? Uh, on their team, we got. I mean, their, yeah, their team. Um, they got Nobunaga, top Zach in the jangles, uh, any mid, and then a Vayne and. Uh, thrush. So when you're at that experience, you're playing a lower elo. She, I know you guys see Vayne like just beast the fuck out of you. Annie is really not a, gonna be a big problem. Um, other than that, Zach, you know, more than likely won't get to that fucking one v five status. And so it's good good to keep an eye and to see his items. And you can see a CDR in game too if he has that like next level shit. You're like, oh shit, he's trying to go to one v five. So understanding the one v five builds and him not going in and him being more of a basic uh, uh, jungler, we'll be looking out for that. And also Nobunaga. Uh, um, you never know what could happen with him, but it's not a big deal when you play Volivar. In these lower tier uh, games, um, Volivar is just a monster. And my team, we have a shit do uh, 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 top, and then the eel mid, me of course jungling, and then um, Jin blitz bot. So let's get this shit on the road. So blitz are actually going to go for the AP. And not go for the relic shield and so, hey, whatever, right? All right, let's, uh, where's my drink? Mm. <sighs> All right, so what do I want? What do I want to do this game? Now, Nobunaga is probably gonna pressure top, right? There's unless Mundo get, get you know gets into that lane and says, "Bitch, fuck you." He slides through, you know, his minions, and then you know Mundo starts his E or Cleaves, who the fuck knows, and just chops him, chop chops, ends up getting an early control. But more than likely, it's gonna be Nobunaga. So. Uh, doing camps and then rotating top, um, uh, or doing your three camps and then rotating top and ganking that early is an option. Um, always watch a mid lane because in these lower tiers, uh, this champion right here should be camped, uh, camp, like just camp this fucking thing. One, you know, if it's ever overextended, where did Mini go? All right, Mini, 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 hello. Fuck, she's gone. Oh, there you are. All right, yo, let's get back. My bad, guys. Uh, if you guys don't know, I got a, a new Doge. Um, a little miniature size debit. All right, she's behind me. We're good. All right, so coming over here, yeah, we're going to start this. Um, you see uh, Zach over here. I know it would probably be nice to, like, turn this off and just focus more on what I'm thinking, but I'll... I'll probably do that another time, but right now, I want to break it down from both sides. You know, when people get fed, when it comes to decisions and all this other stuff. So, yeah, starting here, and this might not get uh, uh, the burn, the baby thorn mail. We're coming over here, doing blue. I'm using all attack speed for this game because I didn't have enough IP for uh, HP quints. So, well, I could have used movement speed, but I went for all attack speed. Nothing wrong with all attack speed because once you hit level six you're gonna be able to electrify and smack the shit out of people um coming over to can that'll be easy level three see here i'll just use this i won't use my bite and just one two one two one two um and the reason why that is because i want to keep my mana up i you know could probably gank mid and sir just looks like he's gonna go back almost went down to any mm. But really nothing happened right now. So you see how I just auto attack? I don't even use my bite because I want to conserve my mana just in case I need to gank a lane. You see how I don't level up right away? But now that I know that I'm going to clear this top side, I'll level up right now just in case. You know, if this lane is pushing, then I'm going to fucking loop around. And then if you kept your eye on mid as you're clearing the jungle or if you're looking at your minimap to see if Annie walked over here to drop a ward knowing that she might get cheese. But of course, they're not going to be... Uh, uh, ghost in your ass because you're probably not going to be streaming blah 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 you know I noticed that shit they always you know well people keep tabs on where the enemy jungler starts and they know they'll uh, drop a ward there so I still have the Krug Arena uh, uh, buff and now it's gone so I get a little stunned here I can use my smite but I don't know if I use it I use my smite here and the reason why I use my smite is because I don't want to take any more damage because I don't have any more refillable uh, potion um, uh, slots Slots, fills, whatever. Potion pots. Uh, but here's level four, so you can do five camps and scuds for level four, um, or you can do all. Um, you can do your bottom side this, this, and kill one baby one. That's really up to you. So here we got a gank top. You see um, sticks, if that's his name. 
Um, I'm going to come in here. So I'm going to pop the ghost. Now he comes in. Misses the cleaver. And there's the launch. And he epically fails. So right here, I want to be off to the side. You know, you, you know, you got to focus one target. And it's got to be Nobunaga. This dude is going to focus uh, your guy. And I can give a fuck if he focuses uh, uh, Mundo. I don't care if Mundo dies. I want to make sure to get on to him. And there's the commitment. That's what I like to see. So we're going to switch over here. And... Uh, we get that kill. All right, Mundo dipsets. Flag. Smited, boys. Smited. So right there, I just pick up two kills. What does that mean? That means GG. I mean, think about it. You just picked up two kills. You're at 1,400 gold. You have enough for your Bambi Cinder. Um, and you have enough for the other piece of your general item. Uh, Nobunaga does have teleport. And it looks like he's going to back. But you know I'm going to tax it. So here I know Nobunaga is going to port. And I checked. I was like, okay. Now, okay, bitch. I got most of it. I'm level 5 at 4 minutes. Now, options is to either back or come over here and pick up a Gromp. And I pray that this is up to. Then, boom. Look at my level. Why back right now, right? It's this early in the game. I'm level 5. Come over here, pick this up. Fear and minions with my E. Last for three seconds. See, I don't have to do anything. I got this game under control. Zach can look to try to gank some lanes. And um, he is trying to do something. But I'm going to be off to the side. And I say, okay, I'm going to drop the fear. Drop. I, the reason why I focused the big two cannon didn't kill the baby ones. Because I already had that shit under control. And I'm like, right here, as soon as he did that, I was like, I ain't going nowhere. I looked at him. I think I dropped some disrespect. There you go. See, I dropped a little bit of disrespect. But look at that. 551. I'm already level 6. I was like, I, I hope the fucking god you come into me. Because you just dropped your passive. Plus, you're level 4. All it takes is you to land on me. And if you don't kill me instantly, it's going to be E, auto attack, flip. And I activate my uh, my ulti right off the bat. Plus, I get that initial damage when popping the ult. Which does deal 75 miles damage. And then you get combinated. And then you get the fuck off my screen. So, right here. You know, if I had to do... Uh, uh, four rotations of just clearing this, I will. But I know this is an easy lane to gank. Um, plot lane, do I even give a fuck? I'm level 6, this bitch is level 3. If I go down here and I try to gank this lane because they're losing, it's a waste of time. You know, you know, even though I didn't snowball this game through mid lane by killing Annie, there's going to be an opportunity when Annie hits level 6 and she gets greedy. So this is how I want to, you know, this is how I want you to you start thinking. Rather than, oh, I'm level 6, so I'm going to go down here. Now, fuck this lane. If these motherfuckers are, like, right here and you went back and you have movement speed. Like, if I went down here with, with this HP, it's a waste of time. I just wanted to, you know, get my two kills, push that wave. Get my level 6 after 3 camps, and then pick an extra camp right here, and then back. That's all I want to do. That's all. That's it. Nothing else. And then I go back. You see my items. I got my Nikes. Uh, let's see. Search has goes down. And he uh, does go down in the process, too. Um, and what do I do here? Let's just relax. You know, there's no need to rush. I'm looking around. Everything's fucking warded. And um, I see Zach. What up, baby? We're going to drop the slow. Fuck out of here. I'm just going to clear everything. Plus, now I have vision. You see what I'm saying? So, backtracking... We know that Zack started a blue buff when you, when, you know, when you checked it. Plus, when he ganked this lane up here... You know, when he ganked at the very get-go, what, what you know, what was his uh, 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 timers on his buffs? Oh, shit, but it doesn't matter because he got up there at the same time uh, you went up there. And he probably had more time on his red buff. So if he had a minute left on his red buff, then you add a minute to three, and then boom, you have his red timer. If his blues has about uh, uh, 25 seconds left on it, then boom, take the, uh, uh, what do we take? Uh, 25 seconds and the three minutes, and then you add it to the timer, then you have his timer. So... Any other information given to me? So let's t let's backtrack this. Now, he just got done ganking this lane, right? Mid lane. He shows mid lane. 6.35. 6.35. Look at the time, right? So he did this first. Okay, spawns at 140. Comes over here, finishes this at 205. 705 is estimated time. 
I run out here. I just did a full clear. So if I wasn't going to go invade, which would have been perfectly fine if you wanted to stay in your own jungle. And like I said, do rotation rotations again over to your red buff. But, um, you know, me, I'm fucking like, I, I want to get in the fight right now. Because my passive right now, okay, my passive is going to give me what? 30% back. And I have 14, let's just say I have 1400 HP. So let's just say I get a giant spell back, about 400 plus HP. So I'm going to get 400 plus HP back. So uh, you add about what? Uh, half a fucking bar, a couple bars. I see Zach over here. Well, actually, that's 1,000. So I add about, I get about five bars. So I know where Zach is. Like I said, um, you, you always want to keep your eye on I take his shit right in front of him. There's nothing he can do about it. And I'm going to sit here. Now look at bot lane. So when you are invading, all you have to do is, look, realize that Zach is somewhat kind of chucked out, and he just picked up a kill, and, you know, 50 says the 36 in search chest doesn't give a fuck, he's going mage eyes. Um, and um, you have pressure in this bot lane. Say, for instance, you didn't have this pressure, and these minions uh, are, well, it's the other way around, and then they're pushing, then that means Zach is going to be able to get help from uh, these guys. So a lot of times people don't check, because don't ever expect people to come help you. Don't ever expect that. Me, I know. I'm down. I'm wanna fucking fight. I look at this bitch, and the reason why I pop my ulti right off the bat is just so that I don't have to flip and then pop my ulti and they can walk away. Because I roll up in, uh, uh, I roll in, roll in thunder. There it is. Slap. Slap. Bite. One more slap. Look at Annie. And there's my passive pop. And look right here. What am I at? Um, I was probably at 200. Look at that shit just fucking zooming, baby. Zooming. Zooming. Look at this. Went from, what, 200 to 700. All right, we're still going up. Plus, if you have your freaking refillable potions, you pop that up at the same time, so it ups your region. And we had pressure in this bot lane, which was really good. So we just killed their, their jungler and their mid laner after Annie just killed, uh, or Annie and uh, Zach just killed. So that means that Annie walking back out after buying, well, I think she did die, uh, is going to lose out more mid. And I'm going to give this blue over the search as. And we're going to get fucking paid. And I'm going to take everything this motherfucker owns. So right here, I back instantly. Like, why why not just go over to your, what do you call it? Uh, uh, back to your red. Because, I, you know, I, I got enough for uh, some uh, HP item. I want more HP. What does it, more HP mean? It means it ups my bite. It also uh, ups my passive. And also I get 10% CDR. So now, do I need to do anything stupid? Like, do you have to do anything stupid? Do I need, do I need to gank bottom? I'm fucking set. If I keep... Like, dominating a game without having to go bot, then Vayne is going to run into me, and I'm going to be fucking high level. And if, I, if I'm if i high level, imagine what my bite's going to do to this champion. So I can take Vayne out of the picture. So if I take Vayne out of the picture, I shut down Zack, and I don't give a fuck about Annie because I'm going to buy a Spear Visage, and I make her useless. Then I look at Nobunaga, and a one armor item is going to solve that problem. Then what is their team going to do to me? Nothing. So that's how you want to map this fucking game out when you play Volivare. When you start fucking helping your team because they're struggling and failing, that's not your fault. You have you have no control over that. So you need to focus on what the fuck you're doing, and and that's it. And then right now it's uh, uh, making sure that mid doesn't go down. And of course, you see Annie dying again. So seeing that mid is winning three one ten stacks, I don't ever have to go bottom. Fuck bottom. I'm gonna run it down mid, and I ha have I ran it down mid. No. I got I seen Annie one fucking time, and she came in trying to help your jungler, and you never want to have your jungler help you. Uh, um, like in these lower tier divisions, you just don't. You just don't because they're going. Oh, I'm gonna go over there. What happened when Annie came to help out Zach? She died, which left Sir Chess. Uh, 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 well, he came back out after dying with his fucking mage eyes, picked up four stacks, and then I gave him blue buff, and now he's doing fine, he's up in levels, where Annie could've just stayed in lane and played it safe, but there's gonna be a time when you understand that, you know, it's just not gonna get there. Uh, uh, it's, well, it's kinda hard to say, because, you know, when I'm a jungler, I'm, I'm the jungler, so I'm talking as a jungler, and as somebody that's trying to shove it down your throat. Is Annie trying to think like that? Um, so I'm going to come over here and double it up and pick up two camps at once because that's what Volibear does, as you can see. Uh, beast mode, what up, man? Boom. When you're next level and you're fat, and right now this game's already over. I look at my gold count. I have, I'm have thir thir I'm 30 gold from my uh, uh, giant spell. And all I pretty much did was invade his jungle. Um, I went top, picked a double kill up, and just farmed. That's all I did this game, right? That's all you have to do. You don't have to over gank and, you know, 
this and that, I always think about if I kill Annie, you know, can I get this tower? Okay. Um, you know, it's always usually ignore bot lane, but there are going to be games when you do feast the fuck out of bot lane. So you see how my top laner goes top? I don't be like, oh my god, I need to run down there. No, my top laner just left this lane so that if Nobunaga decides to go bottom, I'm just going to say, all right, I'm just going to take over this lane. Why? Because I'm going to get solo experience. The next wave is going to be over here. If he decides to, you know, walk all the way top, how long is that going to take? So you see this team that's match going down right now? So Jin dies, and there's Bane grabbing the lantern. He comes in, the knockup, Smurf the cat, almost died coming down there. So what do we see here at 10 minutes? What is this? What is this? Look at me with my caddy wave. Look at me. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. This signifies noobness. You never want to be part of this unless you know you are 100% sure you can go to come down here and beast it up. Now with uh, my my stacked up HP level 8, could I have done something on here? Oh my god, I would have feasted. But what I'm trying to do this game, or uh, how I'm trying to play this game, is trying to show you the ways of just focusing objectives. And instead, making different, diff different, giving yourself different options. And look at this. Boom, we pop, pop, we bite. Okay, another wave is coming out. Look at this. Okay, bang, bang, bang. Okay, look, they're still staying. One, two, top laner's still top. Okay, they're going for the tower. They're not taking a tower, though. Why aren't they taking a tower? Mundo decides to rotate back to mid and push that. Very smart. Um, and the eel's chilling back. and looks like he is going to get dropped. Rip 10 stacks. Still going right of ages. And me, I proxy the wave because I want the next wave to auto-push up. I could have blocked it from behind and sat behind it, but why not? It's this early in the game. Uh, Mundo rotates mid. He's gonna go for these gates and he proxies that wave. So all this right here to pick up one kill, a dragon, an outer turret where they're losing a top uh, uh, outer and of course getting a lot of damage dealt to their, their mid uh, uh, tower. And of course it's me and I'm, you know, when it comes to focus, focusing uh, 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 gates, that's that's what I do. So I'm gonna do a little counter jungle. I'm gonna back. How much gold did I make off that after, uh, after doing this camp right here? I mean, after, what, what did I do? Did I do blue buff or whatever? When I walked down here, when I saw everybody going bot, I had a thousand gold. So me pushing top and all the waves right there, and then Mundo almost getting mid, I made a thousand gold. Rather than running down there, I might have been able to pick something up, but instead, like I said, it's all about objectives. When you take objectives, man, what the fuck do you do when you lose your towers? People are sometimes lost, and when they're lost, you got to be able to sense that noobness, that they're lost, and they don't know what to do in certain situations after losing their tower because it's just one of those things, you know, the struggle. Sometimes it's hard to explain. Um, but this is what you want to take full advantage of because you will learn the game the fastest. You'll learn that people always focus on, you know, kills and after that building items and not focusing on farm which delays power spikes. And me, I just run mid and look, I'm going to go for your tower. Fuck you, Annie. Annie, do not walk out this way. Look at my level. Look at my items. Cinder all completed with my, t uh, with my Kindle gem and my Giants. But look at my HP compared to that. I could sit on top of Tibbers, get flamed with nine different abilities, and fuck her world up. Bane, level six. What level am I right now? I'm level fucking ten, four levels above her. And Thresh, what do you think will happen to Thresh if he walks into me? He's fucking dead. They're all dead. There's nothing they can do unless, of course, they accommodate five people onto me and knock me and stun, chain, uh, CC me. But now, like, after getting paid, this is how I gank lanes. But then again, I look. I realized I was about to go bot and just dive him. See, at this point in the game, you can help your bot lane. And how do you help your bot lane? You just walk down there and start diving, motherfuckers. That's it. Now, I'll dive them. Look, the next wave's right here. So when I dive them, I'll make sure that th we're not going to lose anything mid. I'm not going to dive and just stand around like they did and jerk off in between the turrets. They did get a kill and they did get the dragon, but look what they lost top. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I don't mean to pause it. Uh, I'm looking at Mini. Mini is uh, taking a leak. Okay. Alright, so getting back to the game, um, 100 TS, 13 minutes in, it's somewhat decent, but it's not good enough, because when he runs into me, I'm going to have a chain vest, some type of armor item, and it looks like Mundo is probably going to get knocked up here, get ulti, let's see if he runs, he looks like he's fine, but going back and looking to see what's happening over here, I think I have tabs on his blue, and what are you going to do here? And I'm like, what up, baby? <laughs> you see how Annie, like, Annie's like, oh, he's talking to Zach. That means I can come back and no. That means you need to get the fuck out of here. You know, uh, okay, Tivers, you see Tivers? Flame, okay, I pop the ghost. I, I come in, I dive. She has no mana now. I pop my ulti. One, 
too. And watch this disrespect. See, when you feed, I mean, not feed, or, or you get, when you feast, you see that? You see that? You see that? Smack this motherfucker off your screen. And voila, you walk on out of there. <laughs> Easy script. You might, you could say those scripts. Come over here, Zach comes in. And we're going to go ahead and get out of there. How much gold do I have now? Oh, I only have 1,300. So it's like every time I back, I always have 1,000, 13 to 2K gold. And I'm complete and fucking, I like pick up war mogs and just be fucking godlike and just walk through everything up my passive where I'm getting a fucking 1,000 HP back at 14 fucking minutes in this game. And it's pretty much if I buy war mogs right now. But instead, I pick up mercs and alax because I can do that. The only time you pick up mercs and alax is when you're pretty much unstoppable. You don't need to perk at mercs and what do you call it. If they CC you, then fuck it. You know, as long as you're in the front. You're good, but yeah, you can go fucking Cinder Hulk, War Mogs, and be at 3k HP and with a Kindle Gem early as fuck. And when you have that, those three items, uh, um, well, I'm at 27, I would have probably had um, uh, 3k. You have War Mogs heart, meaning if you're off to the side, chill and relax, and then you're going to get that, that region after about, what, being 8 seconds out of combat? So I decided not to do Krugs, but uh, uh, coming over here to farm. And that's it, man. You see me not doing anything stupid. Now, when I do something stupid, I'll explain it and say, hey, I shouldn't have done this. You know, it's like today's solo queue games if you're watching the stream. If not, I did a lot of stupid shit where I shouldn't have did this because my teammates ended up doing something stupid because they probably don't know this part of the game when it comes to being impatient, stupid, or I'm not there, blah, 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 who gives a fuck, you know. We all make decisions, but when it comes to the lower tier divisions, there's, you know, it's all you. It's all you when it comes to carrying a fucking game. So here, you're like, okay, so here I do this camp, but look at my team. One, two, three, blitz. Uh, probably could have pushed that way, but instead decides to go top. We have uh, Nobunaga there. Annie is rotating top, but it is warded, so I'll see Annie and then Nobunaga. You see Bane and Thresh down here in the bot lane. So what do I decide to do after this? We'll see. And boom, I'm, I'm staying in my own jungle because I know I can carry this game 1v5. I'm not just going to walk into him 1v5. Uh, and try to carry like that. Um, and I decide to back to stop this from happening. It looks like Vayne wants to overextend, which is a big mistake if I make it back there into the lane. So I'm going to do the loop-de-loop, -loop and bye-bye, Vayne. So we're going to come here. See, right here, you don't want to roll in Thunder. What you want to do is uh, use your E first. All right, there's the Condemn, and we're going to hit that roll in Thunder. We're going to smite. We don't need to use my I don't think I have to use my ulti here. You see what I'm talking about, guys? How easy this game can be? When you're focused on just, you know, the bigger picture and letting it, you know, letting the people that you, you're playing against or the team or, or your teammates make stupid ass decisions because they don't know any better. You got to understand, they don't know it's really bad that they shouldn't take this fight when, you know, um, your top laner uses teleport to come help you, but the guy top lane stays and or doesn't have teleport, so he gains the advantage, and then he doesn't know that he needs to go back top, um, and then I go I go to his lane after he teleported bottom uh, or Nobunaga teleported bottom because my top laner came down bot and almost died, um, and I took his tower and farmed three free waves and one jungle camp. See, they don't know any better. It's like when you teleport bot, you need to get back into your lane. But if not, I'm gonna take that tower and. Get these towers because, like I said, you know, people will be clueless when it comes to knowing what to do after they lose their tower. You know, they're going to be clueless when when their jungler gets rolled and they're not going to know what to do. And that's why when it comes to understanding the game, regardless if you're bad mechanically or this and that, fuck it, boom, and one, two, we got the SWAT. Okay, all right, all right. So I think I get greedy. I think I actually die here. Lay it up, bitch. And actually, no, boom, we're going to turn. I don't know why I went back this way. I think I was lagging. Hello, team. Are you there? Yeah, I was lagging. I must have been lagging. I don't even know where that tower is in me, Capo. All right, so yeah, I was kind of somewhat salty. There's the stun. Bam, the auto. Let's see. Where's that big-ass fucking nuke? So first death. Am I, do I give a fuck? No. And I decided to go ahead and pick up Dead Man's Play, which is going to give me more movement speed on top of my, you know, let's see if I am going for the max. So I did max my Q second. I like maxing Q second when I'm playing against fuck-ass Vayne because I want that 50% at level 5 when I run at that 
stupid ass AD carry plus having stalkers plus having a lax and mercs so whenever I get CC'd and dead man's on top but warmogs like I said sitting on a chain vest and then rushing warmogs is also not bad because when your team sucks and you get chunked out of a team fight because you have to tank 9,000 fucking damage you can sit off to the side and if you have mana you sitting off to the side for 20 seconds you're back to fucking 3k plus HP and you're like hey guys what up I didn't even have to back so I stayed off to the side now you gotta get through me once a motherfucking game and the enemy team's like fuck me Man, we're all like one fourth half HP, and now this volley's full of HP, which gives your team time to come back and do some fucking work. What the fuck are you eating? Mini! Mini! What is that? No! No! What is this? Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? No! Alright, my bad, guys. Um, Mini's eating shit over here. I need to clean up this place. No! Alright. Alright, so sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so coming back out, we just killed Vayne, and I died to the fucking tower, and I kind of did the loop de loop and survived. Uh, uh, we had, uh, uh, okay, Searches uh, dies over here. Mundo, I don't know where the fuck he dies, but look, at look, we run straight down mid. There's nothing they can do. I mean, what are you going to do? I don't think I die here, do I? Oh, my God. Am I lagging? I think I got real salty out of this. So that was my bad. Okay, yeah. So, another death. No biggie. Alright, so two stupid deaths, but it's, like I said, look at the map, look at the map. How many towers do we have? Four to one. Like, think about what the enemy team has to do to come back in. Vayne being two and five, okay, useless. It's so hard for me to explain what they need to do to get back into this game, and I hit C, 28% CDR with what? 10% uh, on his, uh, 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 or get okay, below, and he is using per level, so him using per level is actually pretty smart. I didn't, never thought someone would actually use that. Um... But it's still not enough. He went for a locket. He went for, hey, Vayne, I'm going to buy a locket for you. I'm a team player. I'll praise me for, for giving you a shield in a team fight. Yeah, and then I, I step in. And I'm like, bitch, please slap, 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 electrify, bite, buy Vayne. Nah, bitch ass Vayne is down. Um, and then Nobunaga, what does he do? He's going to hit a spike once he gets IE, but he's not going to be spiking anybody unless I'm off doing my own fucking thing. But rip. So he's pretty much fucked. Um, and this game does kind of get throwy, I think. Um, because I'm now looking at the time and seeing how long it went. Uh, maybe I decided to drag it out longer. All right, so it looks like uh, uh, Blitz is getting to the back line, trying to kill Vayne. Doesn't work out, dies. Um, I'm here chilling, relaxing, coming mid, and I see uh, uh, Thresh. Who do I want to go for? Yeah, I'm like, bitch, and I smite her. So right here, once I flip him and Annie... Uh, I thought she could walk up to me. See, that's the thing. People don't know. Like, oh my god, he turned on me. I thought he was going for Thresh. I thought he was supposed to go for Thresh. No. I'm going to go for you, motherfucker. And I'm going to swat this bitch. Nice snipe. There's one kill. Snipe. We're going to drop a little bit more damage onto Styx. Styx is going to grab the lantern. He's going to run for his life. We're going to get the flip. That's going to be a double kill for me. Nobunaga's top pressure. And me, I'm bloodthirsty like a motherfucker. And... And I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. All right, so I'm I'm fucking being stupid, but uh, you know my health region. I think we uh, do I turn on this shit? Oh, you like that fog of war placement, baby? What up? What up? Come on, baby, tell me I live. Later, bitch. Yo, fuck Vayne, man, bro. Vayne, Vayne needs to be nerfed. Yo, am I really getting the fuck out of dodge? I'm gonna do something about this. Oh my god, so I just did the loop de loop across the map. Lag. Alright, that was lag. Come on, man. I wasn't even doing that camp. That's bullshit. Alright, so I could have got out of there. Um, a lot of struggles happening. Um, you know, my, okay, my first death was diving, uh, Vayne, and then running back in. Uh, no, no, that was my second. What was my first? I don't think my first death was a mistake. It wasn't too... Was it? How did I die? How come I don't remember that shit? I do remember going down Vayne and th that last death, but I don't remember the other one. Uh, but regardless, you know, like on a scale of 1 to 10, my death's right there. Well, that last one, I'll give a 5, and then my first two, I'll give like a 2. Um, but not throw level to where, you know, it's like, what the fuck do I do? 
uh, at this point. You know, this game is still under control. Uh, we look. Um, okay, so we got Chris playing this uh, next level fucking EL. And then Mundo right now, Thornmel, Sunfire Cape, Giant's Belt. So his build's not bad because it makes Vayne somewhat kind of useless. But Vayne is Vayne, and Vayne will always get to the point if this game drags out to where she just shits all over. Uh, Zach is front line right now, gets a free lantern. Searches is going to uh, 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 get blasted. And uh, I'm over here, front line, and uh, he's going to survive. And I walk in, I decide to back, and there's the snipes coming out. Now remember, Nobunaga's top by himself. Mundo comes down. Big, big fat second wave. He should push this rather than chasing this, unless, of course, we can get these kills. And instead, we let all that farm go down to waste. So remember that when chasing these guys, if you don't kill them, what are you losing across the board? You know, do you ever see what's happening? No, a lot of times people don't. Look what we're losing here. We lost our mid laner. We can just go for Hey, guys, let's reset. Um, and if they don't know how to reset, you reset the goddamn thing yourself by farming all this so it doesn't go to waste underneath the turret. And, of course, this is probably going to go down. Um... And if Nobunaga continues to push, hopefully somebody covers that. But if nobody does, make sure you do, because there's going to be another wave following that, and that's a caddy wave, so always watch this. So nobody died. They all survived, but you know that they're all going to back. So whatever you can pressure, you have this time while they're backing to push all these lanes out. Baron is free as fuck, too, if you want to pick that up while they're all backing. And Nobunaga, thinking he can back. I don't know if he gets out of here, and boom. Actually, I don't have my ulti. Mm, excuse me. And now we got... uh. I try to cast this with the bite. And I get the shutdown. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Alright, so um, my items. I think I might be going for a Triforce next. Um, now, a lot of times you don't see this happening. And I pr yep, I do go for a Triforce next. You can do that. You can do that. You know, you got 9-3. You have a Giant Spot. You have a Spear of Visage. Cinder Hulk. So you're getting that bonus HP, which is about 284. Close to a... Um, close to a, a giant's belt. It used to be a fucking giant's belt before they nerfed this fucking thing. And I'll take full responsibility for that nerf when I did the, when I invented, uh, well, when, when I brought in, uh, the 1v5 carry belt. They felt like it was too OP. No, I think overall it was already OP. But, um, getting the Gromp and, uh, uh, taking Cinder Hulk to the next level and doing the build where it made 80 carries useless. So I guess I had a little part in that, uh, nerftation. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw it when Cinder Hulk first came out and I did those guides where I did the 1v5s. So here I knew they were doing Baron. I'm like, oh fuck. We need to go over here and stop this. So coming over here, uh, I slide in. There's, no, you know, when you have this build, I mean, why not? Just slide the fuck in. Come over here. Uh, they wanted to do this. I pop my ulti and I'm still tanky and there's Bane. Swat, uppercut, Nobunaga, flip, slap, burn, and that's going to be Baron for us. Now, this game still goes on, so whatever happens here, you know, like I said, I'm going to break it down. Sometimes it's going to be very hard to, to finish games. Uh, when it comes to Siegem versus this comp, Annie's, uh, Zach, it's, it's rough. Um, another thing is, like, if you ever have full control of a game, you don't have to just try to instantly finish the game, but instead, look at my items right now. I'm one item away. I want to go for Triforce. So if I want to say, fuck Siegem, let's go for more control, um, or more fun, if you want to call it fun, as long as you understand what the fuck you're doing. But if you don't understand what you're doing, then it's not fun. It's like, okay, I just want to get to this next power spike. Let's get this uh, uh, Triforce out of the way. So that if I'm ever alone with, you know, by myself and I'm pushing a lane before my team pushes down mid and they end up getting caught and dying, I can get an inhibitor because I have an item that allows me to beast the fuck out of uh, turrets. Plus, after two dragons, that's also going to help. So pretty much what you're doing is kind of playing like you would... Uh, when you play the deer, if you do play the deer or a champion that does his own thing, um, which is, you know, going into your own lane. You know, a Titanic Hydra would have been fucking beautiful for that, but I don't have a Titanic. You know, I went for the more of a, you know, more, more of this piece of shit stole my blue buff. So, do I want to be here with my team? Are we going to be able to get this turret? So there's Nobunaga grabbing a lantern and force me coming in. There's the ulti and I'm going to get knocked up. I'm just swinging for the fences, baby. You know me. I'm getting ricocheted, and I just got ricocheted and bounced off nine fucking thousand times. I swear to God, I got bounced. I was just ricocheted like I fucking flayed, knocked up by Nobunaga, fucking uh, uh, the bounce from the other one. And here is, I think, four of us going down. So what we did right here, okay, so far it's three for two for them, three for three, and that's a double kill for Blitz because he decided to go somewhat kind of AP-ish. Um, we still have two Baron buffs. I walked in. I didn't have to die. Um, after we 
brought everyone down here. Always, say I could have slipped through the defense, sat in the back, waited until we sat, you know, and looked at each other while the minions pulled up in hands, and I could have rotated mid. Right here would have been a good choice to leave my team, regardless if they all die, for me to push this because I know after my team, if they do die, and if I do live, this, these are just options I'm talking about, I will get a inner turret. Not only that, they'll have to, their option after they kill my team, if they kill my team, is they have to go mid to cover mid to stop me from pushing for going for this turret. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back top to give them another option to say, you're sitting behind your motherfucking turrets, and I'm going to push that out. So what I'm doing is I'm getting max value for myself. Whatever my team decides to get out of this Baron, um, you know, how they use it, if they do, oh, we got bear, we grow pop, and we pull one lane. Fuck that. I'm getting max value. I'll fucking push mid, bring him back to me regardless if my team wins or lose. If they win, then boom, they take this turret. I take this turret at the same time instead of all being together. Because, like I said, the struggle sometimes, you know, when you do decide to melee onto a turret, and I'm not going to melee a, a turret with any. I can, but I'm not going to sit there and get hit by Vayne when she has these items right here, regardless if I can tank it. Vayne is fucking Vayne. Fuck that champion. So I'll get max value, push this out. Rotate top, and if I can have time to just, you know, auto-tag on the flip, I'll do this, and I'll come over here, I'll do this. But yeah, it's all about keeping the pressure. I don't care if the game goes on for another 20 minutes for you. I want you to understand pressure and, and, and read what the enemy team is going to do, what their options are, and what your options are, and what you can get them to make them do, which is control. And when you start to understand that, you're like, holy shit. So, even though my team died, I still picked up two towers with this Baron buff. I still got to spin it around me. I was, uh, uh, let's see, I was a thousand gold away from that. But what did I decide to do? I decided to fucking, here. I decided to do this stupid shit. Alright, I mean, like I said, you know, when you, I can, I can do this. I don't want you to do what the fuck I just did. So, I get knocked up here, right? I walk into a goddamn glass wall. I can't fucking move. I'm blinded by something. I get fucking hooked the fuck in. Next thing you know, I get fucking smited. I'm swatting bitches. Then I get fucking less bounce. And I'm flying off the goddamn wall. Then I get fucking knocked up by another slingshot. I fuck another NATO. Then another fucking flay. Then I'm fucking fully tilted. And I'm like, okay, fuck. That was a big mistake. So that's just another way of seeing the ways of, uh, you know, options and, of course, how you can learn to control the enemy team. Look, why keep, and look what, what, did, like, your teammate sign here is my fault. You know, these motherfuckers are, oh, shit, well, he's going in, let's go get him, you know. So, you know, when they do get engaged, you want to be either right here full HP, not taking any turret, not getting knocked up, and... Boom. If I'm right here, you think Vayne's going to sit right here with his HP? I'll look at this bitch. I'll uppercut her one time, hit the ground with my E, and slap her off my goddamn screen, and then hit my W on this bitch, look at the rest, and then die him afterwards after we kill him. But there's no way they can fight us outside their turrets. But it's just a baby throw. And then Mundo walks in, throws him blindly, you know, gets saved by fucking Blitz. Blitz comes in, pops his R, and then we luck out. We go, we go even, three for three, unless somebody else died off earlier Annie or Thresh, but they didn't and there's a teleport coming in from Mundo which was a complete waste I feel like well I guess I wouldn't say it's a complete waste he could have just walked back into lane got that but not only that we also have top pushing so what does the the red team have to do to come back what they need to do to come back is just try to get to the fucking 40 minute mark where Vayne is just fucking killing everything regardless if she's 3 and 40 because at this elo it's fucking new but like I said you know I've been through every single throw game, you know, and I know what they expect, you know, I know how to win the game regardless if my team's so supremely bad, I mean, this is a placement game, and I'm playing with them lower tier uh, noobs, and right here we got a level 15 uh, Mundo trying to jump onto a vein, and I'm over here off to the side, instead of having my Triforce completed, I decided to dive and throw, and I look at my gold count I'm at 1100, so I'm about 3-400 away from completing that last piece and I see Nobunaga, and boom he decides to slide through me pop that electricify after the flip I usually drop the electricify after the flip and boom this dude's doing some deeps but of course I got that bite and I want to go ahead and push this and instantly back well I actually could stay out into the field right now if I see my team getting ran down since they saw me the eel and me uh, top and then we'll go for this tower and I have two dragons but instead looks like everyone's fine mid so I want to go ahead and pick up my triforce so life is easy and run back out into the field bot is stacking so there's really nothing for the red team to do besides wait for the enemy team to throw 
And if you know what you need to do in this situation, um, then you're good. Now, if you don't know what to do in this situation, besides the most simplest fucking decision, which is push down fucking mid and siege versus a Zac that can, you know, change the game with his ulti, regardless of how ahead you are because you still don't know what the fuck you're doing, then it's a coin flip. But you're still in the lead, but they have the laser beam advantage if you decide to go in and dive. So if somebody like me, I, if I'm going to go in here and dive because I know what to do in this situation, or Mundo goes in and tries to fucking dive and zone everybody, let Mundo do that himself. Do not follow Mundo. If you're playing this tank, or tell your teammates, say, hey, hey, Mundo, go in there and pretend like you're going to dive. We'll pretend like we're going to do the same thing and follow you, but we'll focus the tower because that's what the... You know, the objective is, is to get this tower down. Then after that, we can fight because we don't have a fucking laser beam shooting down on us. Regardless if it's the tank, it's just going to drop this uh, Mundo down faster. And after that, and not only that, we got these this beam push and this beam push, but we run straight down. You see me? Right here. I want my team to fucking go for the tower. Let's see what they decide to do. So I'm going to walk back. You think I'm stupid to keep continue, especially with Bane pops that, and I tank the fucking Tevers? I'm walking back. We get in the tower. I might rotate top, and I look like I'm bleeding out of my fucking mouth, and I am. Um, and Okay, so I run off to the side. So me running off to the side meant um, I just wanted to die for that, and my team smart enough to get the fucking tower, and voila, game becomes easier. Now, Bane, what do you do? You fucking die. She can't do anything. Nope, my team decides to team deathmatch instead of focusing the turret, the slingshot, the slide through. You see what he did? Like, he should be over here hitting his fucking tower, you know, waiting for these guys to go in. But he wanted to get greedy and focus. That's the thing about lower tier elos. They don't focus the objectives. Now, imagine if a Baron's up. And these guys feel, you know, like their back's been, you know, on the uh, ropes for like the last 10, 15 minutes. Then they can go fucking pick up Baron if they get a clean ace killing me. Um, and then I have to sit there and watch that. So here we go, we got the fight, the slingshot, we got Mundo easily gonna die here, but take Nobunaga with him, which isn't too bad. So what I want my team to do right now is wait for me to spawn so that they don't fucking die. And there's the slingshot, Baron, not as, it's not live, but look what th they're losing over here. This is a desperation ace, but there's really nothing else for them to pick up. Besides, if somebody's worth bonus gold and pushing, well, there's no super minions coming out, so they kind of lucked out. But they need a reset after this. And set up for either a Baron, but look, boom, look. Like, they could have split up, but instead they decided to chase. Instead of get more gold, but they walk back in, and Blitz is going to die, and there you go. Good shit, team. Good shit. But there's nothing for them to get, because every single, every single lane is pushed. Mm. Oh my god, he's, okay, well, still gets a kill, and Search is picking that up. Got his burn. So now it looks like bot and top. I got some minions stacking up. Um, uh, so we're going to want to push that out. And, and the, another reason why I died there, well, I guess it doesn't kind of really matter because I'm supremely tanky and I didn't walk back. And I do have mercs. And I probably could have. Um, yeah, I ran off to the side and I just didn't expect my team. So maybe I should have just ran straight back. And I don't know if Jin had heal. If he did, he didn't want to save me anyway. But I didn't give a fuck, you know. I just wanted to make sure you understand that focus in the tower. And when you decide to play volley and dive, you tell your teammates to focus the tower. And not worry about what the fuck you're doing. Saying that you're just going to get these objectives. Mundo coming in. Damn, Nobunaga is doing some deeps, man. Alright, so. There you go. Nobunaga overextends again. Because it's always going to, you know, it's just going to be one of those things. I got to see a wave. I push. And boom, he gets caught. Uh, or two of us are dead and he just doesn't respect me or uh, Mundo. And of course, he is doing a massive amount of damage. And he vamps the shit off when hit me. But right here. All right. I hope I don't die here. Let's see. I think I'm fine. Oh, my God. Do I really die here? I'm fucking salty, man. Jesus. I'm really salty at this point of the game because I shouldn't be dying like that. I should not be dying like that because now I can sit here and watch my fucking teammates. So if you ever die like that, you know, you know, going for a tower, do not die like that. Wait for everyone to spawn because look, now Mundo uh, is getting caught now, and I gotta sit here and watch this. You know, I know I might sound like a broken record sometimes, but uh, Baron is live in 10 seconds, and look, they're smart enough to fucking come over here and wait for it since they know that I'm dead and that my team uh, uh, is not gonna be able to pick this up. So now. What do we do? Does this mean it's his GG? No. It just means you kind of want to stall this game out and the enemy team's going to be somewhat back into the game. But there's the thing about people getting caught. 
You know, there's the thing about when a team fight goes down, who the fuck do we focus? You know, Vayne's positioning in team fights, what Thresh needs to do, how they can, you know, fucking execute a nice, the best fight they can this game. Um, and that pretty much just means peeling for a uh, uh, Vayne. Nobunaga not getting ready to go into the back line because I'll focus that motherfucker first. I don't think I have to worry about any damage because it's not going to be too much. Um, you know, uh... Zach's build is not too bad. Um, you know, he has, has a Thornmel. I feel like um, the Locket could have been a Leandries and would have fucked me up and would have done a lot more damage. Um, it would have made up for Bane's failures early game. And right here, Jin looks like he's going to not walk through the wall, so he decides to stand there and do work. And I'm going to go ahead and push top and breach these gates, popping my ulti. And right here. One. Alright, so I decided to go for these gates. Yeah, so this is what, you know, this is all my fault. You know, like I said, the ways I died were pretty bad. And I'm going to get flamed. I hope I don't die here because I'm going to be salty again. I really am. Just watching is pissing me off. But uh, uh, I do back and so does Vayne. And there's nothing else that uh, uh, we're going to lose besides giving up Baron um, and that mid outer turret. And I did get a free inhibitor finally. But, you know, you don't just try to keep it clean. Try not to die like, uh, you know, I did. Don't just just take greed out of the picture. When you take greed out of the picture, you don't give any chance for the enemy team to come back into the game. It's just that when, you you know, you know I have more experience when it comes to throwing and coming back or, or motherfuckers feeding and me making the comebacks. So keep it clean. Um, and you shouldn't have too much of a problem. But, of course, it's all about understanding regardless if it's really bad. Understand and look right here. So what do you call it? You know, she decided to say, uh, uh, okay, uh, Thrash is gonna die here, but there are 80 carries, you know, uh, sit next to Mundo. I'm still gonna walk up, and I'm sitting there like, yo, bitch ass motherfucking Annie, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, uh, do you not see me? Hoa loa. And I'm sitting there like, okay, this bitch better flash and run for her motherfucking life, but I walk off to the side. So I come over here to go for Bane, but she instantly flashes. Me, I don't give a fuck about shot Bat Bateman, or I might uh, after. And the reason why I don't care about that motherfucker is because I'm here to carry the game, and I'm getting ulted by Nobunaga, but I do walk back. Uh, but we have to run away, as you can see. There are some massive struggles right now. It didn't turn out the way we wanted it to turn out, but as you can see, I slipped through the back doors, and I am going to go on a breach and spray. And right here, instead of going for the... I don't go for this. Because I want to uh, uh, bring the minions and have the minions help me out. So when this dude doesn't clear this he or focus me, I got a little bit of help over here. All right, we're getting the fuck out of Dodge. And right here, uh, Blitz is a god and decided to you know, land that next level in this. And boom, I say fuck this. And I am just going to get this. I'm tired of playing this game. I don't want to see Bane anymore. And I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge. Fuck this. Let these super minions come out, let them struggle, and thank the fucking gods. Because that's the last thing you want to do is have momentum shipped over to a vein that has peel. Because if people get smart, it doesn't matter who the fuck you are. Like, if, well, of course, it depends on the champion I'm playing. That if I was playing Zack and I was going against this vein, I wouldn't give a fuck about too much. But if I try to run on my motherfucking paws over to this vein, I think I'm going to be getting crit and slashed and fucking percentage by these cocksucking broken ass champions like Vayne and look at this she's now farming fucking super minions every fucking wave bank rolling but now we get to do the final push and if we have to wait for the Baron in two minutes we can do that or pick up the fourth dragon um, but yeah that is definitely a struggle I do not want to get hit so we back up we roll the waves up so if there's any type of uh, 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 lanes that oh well any stacking waves that are pushing out the kind of stall um, because if we're dumb enough to push down mid with, uh, without waiting for these uh, waves come in, then it ups their chances of trying to, you know, get a nice clean ace on us so that they can focus on clearing us after uh, killing all of us. But if not, if we wait for all the waves to stack up, then we can decide to start a fight. And then while we're fighting, it's either them hitting us and them taking aggro from 6,000 minions or them running away. And we get to sit behind our minions, and then we can focus the Nexus. And life is easy. So this was a struggle because of me. And you have no, you cannot blame your teammates for, for feeding, because they will follow you to the fucking death. Um, and look at that. That's what the fuck I just ate. I'm like, what the fuck did I just eat? And I'm like, okay, let's get the fuck out of Dodge. 
Light up, bitches. And I was telling myself, maybe I should have bought up. I do have a... No, I... Yes, I do. You see Warmogs, boys? See, right here, after getting chunked, let's take a look. See this? So this is the thing I was telling you about Warmogs. You see Warmogs about the... Do the loop-de-loop? -loop? You see it once it goes down? I'm, of course, my passive. What's going off? Well, this is why Warmogs is good first item with Cinder Hook right off the bat to get straight to 3 HP. You see the HP, right? Now watch. Now we bank rolling. So I restore 849 health every 5 seconds. I'm like, yeah, baby, we're getting paid. Up 120 a second. 120 seconds. Boom, 120, 120, 120 seconds. Oh, boom. Payday. And I'm just going to sit here. Regroup. Okay, let's just go pick up this goddamn. We couldn't even end right there. Even, you know, pull up the waves. Fuck that, right? So why try to end, you know, when we're just going to get beastified? And let's just go ahead and pick up this Baron. And, um... Alright, so bottom inhibitor has respawned too. Zach, I don't know if he's going to make it, but, um... Ah, oh, he's a little bit too light. No, he does flash in, but of course, there ain't nobody else behind me. I'm a beast. I'm a professional. Um, uh, boom. And we got a teleport coming in, but he is not going to make it. Thresh flashes over. But look at Zach, how he goes in by himself, and there's Annie, and there's no insta follow up. Plus, Search has his off to the side and shit all over fucking Vayne, uh, sitting right there. So, I mean, if Zach would have, you know, just went in by himself, and Andy sat with, you know, Vayne, and then he just burst at Search has, that would have been the good choice. But he went in on his own, and he's off to the side. He actually might be able to walk out, but there's a nice Tivers drop onto what do you call it, but me. Here, I'm like, fuck it. You know, fuck it. Jen. Jen ain't fucking. He ain't the reason why we're winning this game. But then again, you know, at this point in the game, if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, it's good to, you know, peel for him. If he is doing well, nah, fuck that. Yeah, if he's doing well, do that. He is doing well. But if they're, you know, if if, if I can't get to him and I can focus Annie because she's right in front of me, I'm just going to uh, uh, kill uh, her. But remember one thing. Vayne is your worst nightmare when you're playing uh, Vayne if you're an Udyr. Or any champion, you know, uh, most of the time. Because, like I said, at this point in the game, when it's a fucking clown fiesta, fuck fest, um, she just deals the most damage. But, of course, she, if you see, see her, she dies right off the bat. And this is one of those games, like, Jesus, man, I'm glad we didn't lose this one. Because, my, you know, watching my teammates play, and depending on them, um, is, is rough times. Uh, but that's it. That's going to be game arena. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that needs to be said. Uh, besides, uh, besides Zach, you know, it's somewhat build, you know, it's somewhat kind of noobish. Um, if he would have went for, like I said, the Leandries, this could have been a, a different game. Um, uh, Nobunaga, a little bit too squishy, maybe more defensive. Um, uh, Annie struggles. Um, you know, Zach struggling early, not protecting this jungle, or just not giving it up, and me, uh, throwing down. Um... And then bot lane was four levels below me at one point in this game. And when you know you're that high in level, uh, it's it's fucking, it's there's nothing she can do, because you know when you get onto her, you're just gonna sit onto her, uh, sit on her like I did over here, and and bite the bitch off your screen. But you saw all my deaths. Add all that up. Imagine if I didn't do that, and I focus more on. Uh, objectives uh, across the map. They never come back in. They never get gold. I never bait my teammates. Um, and, you know, if I have to stall uh, the game out, you want to start to, you know, feel that and understand that because if you don't uh, stall and you decide to siege down like dumbasses, that could be very bad, especially if you're a melee champion going into these turrets. So, you know, take it easy. If you don't know what to do, just relax and wait until you're tanking enough and you have pressure uh, where you create the best fight uh, uh, um well, you look for your options that you have when it comes to pressure in other parts of the map and then rotate and then you create that uh, little uh, 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 fight somewhere out in the jungle, whether it's going for an objective because you pushed uh, these other lanes out and they have a vein and an Annie and a, a Thresh while the other two are covering those lanes and you can dive a, a, a 4v3 with your guys unless everybody's there. But yeah, you know, it's 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 all about understanding the game regardless of how bad you are and that's that's pretty much all you need to know and everybody's bad at this elo. Everybody's bad. These were silver, fucking bronze, these gold. You can look them up, but you know, I feel like they were just the uh, um, the leftovers. Like even though they might be a gold five player, or you might think gold five is somewhat legit in your head, you're fucking wrong. It's still all paper bag, ninety five thousand to me. Um, and the one that gets smart, the one that focuses on how to win games and take advantage of anybody that fucking uh, wants a team deathmatch, and they think that 
them, uh, them getting two kills, and then sharing fucking uh, uh, assists with four other teammates is worth it to lose whatever they uh, to lose half you know, control of you know half the map, more than half if we're talking about mid and top, since bot is just one lane um, down here. Then boom, they won't even know what hit them when they lose all that shit. But it's you know up to you to to feel that that control and when you control you you take that control you take the fucking whatever you wanna you know however you wanna put it when it comes to stomping somebody into the dirt um and just go with it and continue to make you know uh uh good decisions and once you learn the ways the team that matching and fighting um then do whatever the fuck you wanna do like I did this game which I did not wanna do but I did so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like peace late